Here's an email. Let's go with this email from uh, Talia. This is for Dr. Lisa. It says, Dr. Lisa, I've been having night sweats for the past three years. My room is cool and I don't sweat during the day. What's the deal? Lisa? <laughs> All right, so that's a great question. I really want to talk to Talia. So can we get her on the phone? Sure, I'm going to patch her right through right now. Night sweats or hot flashes are very, very, very common, and they can be due to a lot of things, but I'm really interested. I want to know what's going on with Talia because I, this is one of the times where I definitely get to play doctor detective because there's so many things that can cause um, you know, hot flashes or night sweats that you really have to talk to the patient to find out what's going on. Hello, is this Talia? Yes, hi. Hi, Talia. It's Dr. Lisa. How are you doing? Good. How are you? So what I want to know is, does this happen every single night? Um, pretty close. It's like three to four nights a week, um, pretty often, I would say. Can you tell me how old you are? I'm 21. Okay, so you're not in menopause. No. <laughs> <laughs> not that I know of. Now, um, have your periods been regular? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we, what I'm trying to do is find out whether or not it's a hormonal disorder, because that can cause it as well. Are you oh. taking any sort of medications? Um, no. Okay, a lot of times uh, antidepressants can cause night sweats, as well as some things like um, things that actually you use to treat your fever, like aspirin or acetaminophen. So you, that's why we like to look at, you know, your medical history. And I don't suppose you're taking Viagra, right? No. Okay, because that also can cause night sweats, too. But... That explains why. I'm there you go. All right. <laughs> also... Like I said, you learn something every day. <laughs> also, there's some... Don't listen to him, Tanya. There's some other infections that can cause night sweats, too. Have you had any fevers or um, any other signs of infection? Sometimes tuberculosis or other things can cause um, uh, night sweats. Anything like that? No, no, not that I can think of. Well, it sounds like probably this is going to go away. Maybe you need to check the temperature or something like that. But whenever you have, because usually nine times out of ten, night sweats are just because of something going on in, you know, either stress, anxiety, or also something going on as temperature-wise. But if it's unexplained, it's been going on for a while, then you need to get it checked out. Definitely. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling.